Well guys, we are officially set. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. But I am just getting out here on an inland lake here in Oakland County and I am super excited to be out here. The weather is pretty rough today. It's like raining, sleeting, slash snowing today. I just came out here. This is the first time I've been to this lake this year or this ice fishing season. It's around like six inches right now, so it's pretty safe ice. I probably walked half a mile out here to my spot. And I caught one of my biggest pike ever right here, a 39 incher through the ice on a tip up. So I figured I would set up my spear shack right here. I set a couple tip ups down through that ledge right there. So I'm gonna be out here all day. Hopefully you can see some um, pike today, get some action, but really appreciate you guys watching today's video. Drop a comment below your biggest pike you've ever got through the ice or through the open water. Drop a comment, let me know. Let's see you as the biggest pike. Pretty decent one. Not spearable though. It's a little guy. Not spearable though. It's a little guy. I don't think he's 24. Pretty cool though. It's a pretty decent one. I don't know. I don't think he's spearable though. I wish it was a spearable one to him. He's just sitting there staring at the decoy. He wants it, that's for sure. It's a good sign. First pike of the day. He's checking out the decoy. It's a little one though. Let's see if we can get him to come up. He likes it. That's pretty cool, guys. He's just hanging out next to the decoy.
Well guys, that was pretty cool, the first pike of the day. And it's actually the spike right now. I don't know if you guys ever watch the fishing forecast, fishing and hunting forecast, but there's actually an app that I use and you can check the fishing forecast to see if it's good or not. And it's usually spot on. That fish literally came in right at the spike and I'm showing the spike right now. It's around like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And that's right when the main spike, as you can see it highlighted red. And that's when the fish came in. So if you guys want to check out that app, it's pretty cool. I've been using it for a little while. My buddy Blue Jays Outdoors actually showed it to me, but I've heard of baromic pressure before. So you really want to check like the pressures and those fish really come in when it's better fishing. I haven't seen anything the last couple days and the percentage only has been like 10 or 15 percent. I come up today and it's like 70 and exactly at the point or at the spike is when I seen that pike so it's definitely usually um, pretty spot on if you ask me. There's another one. I don't think that's a keeper either. If it is, it might be super close. Dang. Come on, big ones. Couple little little ones keep coming through. That one came in pretty fast. He's just sitting there checking it out. I can see him from where I'm sitting, but I don't know if you guys can see him. Well, I guess the pike are moving. That's two so far. That's pretty cool. I haven't even speared out here in a couple of years. But I know there's some good pike in here. I, Like I said earlier, I caught my biggest pike ever out of this lake here in Oakland County. Hopefully I get on at least one, but still super cool just sitting here watching the pike come in. Guys, I'm actually just getting back to the house. I changed all my clothes and everything ate, and I am all warmed up, but it was a lot of fun out there pike sparing today. I ended up seeing those two northern pike come in, but they're both small, and it started raining pretty good. It was supposed to clear up, so I thought I'd be good out there today, but it rained all last night, and it was a little clear this morning, so I thought I would be good to go out and thought the rain would quit but it just kept raining and raining and raining i was out there for like four or five hours and i just thought i should probably get off the ice and be safe it's always better to be safe than sorry you know but i wish i would have stayed out there i wish the rain wouldn't have been crazy because i just don't like being out there on the ice when it's raining and it could be melting the ice you never know what's gonna happen but I just figured I would get back to the land. I had like a 200 or 300 yard walk back to the, my truck or back to the boat ramp. 
so I was super cautious getting back there in the rain, but still when you guys are heading back, even if you sit there all day, I was still using my spud bar all the way back just to be cautious. And I want everyone to be super safe out there on the ice. I didn't spear a pike in today's video, but I just wanted to film a little video. And I was going to ask you guys, all my viewers, like, should I make more videos like this, even if I don't catch a fish or spear a fish or get any action? Do you guys still want me to post some content, like daily vlogs or even just going out there and um, just hanging out, like trying some new um, styles of videos. Even if I don't spear anything, I'll still post the video just to show you guys that you're not always going to get them. So that's just what it is. It's just fun getting out there, chasing them every day, trying to find the next bite and everything. But really appreciate you guys watching today's video. I think I'm going to head off to the gym. Hopefully all this crazy weather will clear up and Hopefully I can get back out on the, on the ice um, maybe here in the next couple days, but really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one, guys.